Hi guys, I want to share something with you. Uh, I started, uh, you know, after this cancer hit me, I, I was told I had uh, Marcia, they told Marcia I had two years of quality of life left. Uh, that was 2012. And, uh, uh, you know, it's been a rough battle up and down through the years, uh, which now is, you know, after the chemo stopped working and all that, um, they looking for a, another drug, a, a experimental drug, uh, for me because the chemo wasn't working and the cancer was continuing to climb and it was, the numbers was going crazy. Uh, but God's got ways, you know, God, is, <laughs> we can't foil God's work. Yeah, whatever God wants to do, he does, you know, we, there ain't nothing we can do about it. Um. Uh, so anyway, after the chemo uh, stopped working, I quit taking it. Doctors want me to keep on it, you know, but I said, no, I'm done because it was this destroys my body. So uh, during all that, uh, I got thinking, what am I going to leave my kids? After we leave, you know, after you die, um, they start gathering up the stuff that dad had, you know, or mom had or grandpa had, you know, we gather stuff up and inherits things you know you inherit land and all that we don't have stuff like that i never have been a collector of anything and uh except for uh the only thing i could leave my kids i thought was you know we leave them something um so i i like to write i was out in the woods and i somebody i can be out in the timber and just my mind just flows and i can i can write stuff uh, Somebody would send me a picture, and, and I would look at that, and I think, man, you know, that's that's beautiful. And I could start rattling off things about what I could see and hear and smell just by looking at the picture. So I, I put them on Facebook. I'd make a story and write it on Facebook, and, and it was pretty neat. I enjoyed doing that. So I thought, you know, I'll put that in book form. So I went through it and and put them all in a book. And I had a couple hundred of them made out, and they look like that. Um, and that's what I, and I, so I made a book, all right? And that's all my, all the the things, you know, that open this up. The first is a picture of that, the snow right there, see? And so I seen that picture, and, and it reminded me of, 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 and, of things. And I said, something about a fresh snow. All is clean covered in pure white, so beautiful, standing in the woods and around this footbridge, we can hear far off in the distance the call of crows, so quiet here. The brisk air and no wind blowing makes for a perfect morning for a walk. A sudden flutter of wings catches our ear and eyes as a cardinal flies down to the snow-covered brush. An opening left untouched by the snow provides cover for the bird. His color of red is brilliant against the snow. The quiet is so powerful. As the sun starts peeking through the clouds, the rays of sunlight makes the snow sparkle like diamonds. We continue our walking and start seeing small tracks left by the inhabitants of the woods. The cedar trees are bent from the weight it's bearing. Snowbirds or little chickadees are busy under its branches, eating seeds that have fallen. Busy as they are, they watch us as much as we watch them. Rabbit tracks all around it also. They are hiding out of sight as we continue our stroll through the woods. The sound of running water comes up from the creek below. Yellow finches seem to follow us. So beautiful are their colors. What a perfect day God has made. We can stay out here for a long time. As the sun warms the air, the snow cascading from the tree limbs can be seen all around us. Going back to the bridge, we stand in the middle, right above the creek, in awe of God's creation, mesmerized by the water below. We watch it run under the under us and just stare at it. So beautiful out here. The smell of wood smoke is carried to us as a slight breeze picked up. Coffee sounds good. We head back to the cabin, stoke the fire, get a blanket and a cup of coffee, then out on the covered porch. It's going to be another awesome day. So I was, 
I've done that. So my thing was for my kids, I would just make up a book, and that's what I did. I made a book, and and I've got it's it's all kinds of things. All right, so that's what I did for my kids. Then I've got thinking here recently, you know. So that's all that's all good, but so I started something else. I'm just another project, you know. This is just some ideas when you you're going to be leaving something with your kids. So I started something else, and this is uh, things about pertaining to scripture. All right, uh, I got uh, salvation for all people in here. I've got that. I've got the word touchstone. What is a touchstone? You know, we uh, we look up the word. You know. Uh, what is a touchstone? And, and it's uh, uh, people in the jewelry business know what it is and how to use it. It's it's also in the Bible, but translators don't want us to know what a touchstone is. The Greek word is basanos, and it means literally a touchstone used to test for alloys, impurities, and metals. So what do they define? A translator put it in there uh, has been as torture 10 or 11 times in the King James translation. So I look them up and, and show that it's not torture. You know, God don't torture. That's not what it's all about. And I got one here on our gospel, what our gospel is, according to James. I mean, uh, Paul shows some of the different things in it. Uh, the salvation for Israel is in there. Um, just, you know, interesting things that it's all scriptures from God, you know, uh, and so I, I started putting scripture stuff together and so they can follow it. You can sit down and read this thing and, and the soul and the unseen, you know, the, what is the soul and, and the unseen? What is that? The gospel, which is not another is in here. You know, that's, that's Paul's gospel. So, uh, that's what I started doing again. You know, I, I'm going to do that because, uh, if Lord tarries and, and uh, you know, we look for the snatching away of the body any time. But if not, and if I if, if uh, I succumb to death, you know, they'll say, well, what was this the dad was writing? Well, I've got a, I'm making a book of things that pertain to the scripture and write them out and explain things as I see them uh, according to scripture. And I'll back everything I write according to scripture. And not put my own two cents in it. I want it to be explained by the scripture, and that's what I'm going to do. So, uh, just something I'm doing. Uh, my dad had done that, and I had no interest in it when he gave it to me. Uh, he'd been dead 10 or 12 years. I don't remember when he died. But uh, he had made a book like that for all of us kids, eight of us. And everybody's got one. And in it, I just I just found it. Uh, he has the same beliefs that I've got. <laughs> I didn't know, you know. It did, it, I, he gave it to me, and and I looked at it. And thought, well, this is all right. So Dad's on another mission, you know. He's gonna do something. Uh, yeah, he did. He had it. Dad had it together, and he he understood. Paul's gospel is for us, and the rest of the Bible is for Israel. Um. So, you know, that's scriptural. That's in there. <laughs> we just got to look it up and understand. You know, you can read. You can, we All the Bible is, is for our learning. But only Paul's gospel. Only Paul's gospel is, is for us. There's 13 letters. And when you understand that, the 13 letters, these, this, this right here, Paul's gospel. That, I got this. This is large print. And it's the 13, 13 uh, books of, that Paul wrote. They're in this. They're in in any Bible, you know. But it, it's from this translation, concordant, and I've got it in big print so I can see it. This stuff is good, but I can't see it. And one of the good things about that is in the front of this is this little thing here that has uh, what the words mean the uh emphasis put on different words the the markings on it you know what is a um 
uh, act form or a, a state verb form or middle voice, you know, and and different things where the uh, emphasis are put on different things, the meanings, you know, meanings, words mean things. So anyway, I've got that. So, uh, but anyway, the thing is, you know, you're going to leave something with your kids. Uh, so if you stand firm in what you believe. Stand firm in it. But make sure it's scriptural. Everything you, you do, base it on scripture. Um, because after all, that's, you know, uh, God is, is molding us. We're the, we're the clay. And what we go through today, God will use for his glory. You know, the things we face, uh, God uses it for his glory. So uh, just thought I'd pass that on, you know. I, I, I enjoyed writing the book. Um, listen right here. This is this is one I one here on on uh, on hands. See that hands? And I wrote, "Time keeps marching on. Life is awesome. The love that lasts has got to be worth pursuing. Why is it that the gentle kiss on the hand is so precious? Those hands have carried so much in the time used here on earth." The countless buttons sewn on, the country breakfast cooked, dinners and suppers, all those pots to clean and the laundry, milk and uh, all the chores of a lifetime, the newborn babies, the cloth diapers, sickness and the firm hand of correction and the soft hand of holding the loved one close to the breast. The kiss of the hands can bring back memories and cause a tearful sigh of happiness. The kiss on the hand held so gently is oh so precious. You know, I see things like that and I think of these people in nursing homes that are there for, uh, seem like they're just, you know, forgotten. But, but anyway, <laughs> watch me, I'll get, I get wound up, but you know, life is life is precious, and don't don't ever forget that God, God made us to be um, caregivers and care for each other and love each other, love your enemies. You know, God says love your enemies, and He wouldn't tell us to do anything that He wouldn't do Himself. So God won't torture and burn and all that crap. You know, that's not in the Bible. So. Anyway, that went, went that went south, didn't it? <laughs> but uh, anyway, hey, you guys have a great day. It's raining outside, uh, or I would have went outside and, and put this together. It's probably been totally different. <laughs> but since I'm inside, this is what come out. So it is what it is. All right. So you guys have a great day. All right. I'll I'll talk to you later. Have a have a fun day in the rain. <laughs>